Hey everyone, it's John at Evolve. Hey, today we want to show you a Model Y and really uh, inspect the gigacasting. So we had a lot of comments on some earlier posts about gigacasting replacements and are they hard to get and that they would total out a car. And so we just want to give you some detail behind what uh, replacing a gigacasting might involve. So in this case, we've got a brand new Model Y that's hit, as you can see, pretty good. And uh, this thing literally is brand new. It's got a few hundred miles on it. So uh, we're going to remove this quarter panel, and then we can take a look at the Giga casting, and we'll walk through the inspection process just to show you what it looks like and how to confirm it's in good shape. All right, so how easy is it to remove a quarter panel? There we go. All right, let's take a look deeper. Okay, so now the quarter panel is off, and we've got access to the rear Giga casting and some of the rear inner structure of the vehicle. On this one, you can see that we've got outer wheelhouse damage here and here, which is going to require replacement. And there's quite a few other things that need to happen because as we can see, this panel is underneath this panel. This panel is underneath the one in front of it. Uh, so a few more pieces other than what we're looking at here will need to be replaced. But what we wanted to talk about is giga castings and how to inspect, how to find damage, what can you fix. I know we saw some comments and there's some uh, myths about what happens uh, with giga castings. One important thing is uh, you can repair a lot of uh, the giga casting. Early on, it was sort of an all or nothing thing. We have to replace them. But uh, since then, there's lots of repair methods that have been developed. So if we look at this giga casting here, um, we're going to inspect for any damage. Uh, one of the things that I'll point out right here is we see a line right through here. This line is where we can section this uh, rear frame rail. So if this was hit and fractured, uh, we have the option to literally cut this off and attach a new piece of cast aluminum to this spot. And it would be done really with uh, rivets and structural adhesive and a backing plate to join. So lots of repair options on giga castings. As we look at this, um, what we can see is if we look in this area of damage, we're looking here, this is cast aluminum, and, say, and looking to see if there's any cracks in this. Uh, so this may move, bend a little bit, but in most cases it just shatters, it sort of breaks. So we have measured this vehicle and we've had some prior videos of uh, digital 3D measuring systems that we've used to confirm that all of these control points are in the right position in space. And so we know that this one is, so there's no movement here on its giga casting. Doesn't mean there can't be some cracks or some damage, but we'll take a look here. This is the area of impact. This is probably the most important area. And as you can see, there's really no issues here. We don't see any cracks. Um, nothing seems to be out of line. We can look down inside the ribbing as well to see if there's any damage in here. We don't really see any movement here. Up across some of these areas, no damage here. On this side of the rail, no damage here. And as you can see in this big open space, super interesting on a Model Y, by the way, the floor is actually a plastic tub that mounts in here. And this rear body panel is a bolt-on component. So really interesting design. Makes it very easy to repair. So we don't have any damage on this Giga casting. And what's interesting, as hard as this thing was hit, um, that there is no damage to the Giga casting. So incredibly well designed and incredibly strong uh, vehicle for a hit that hard. In most vehicles, you might see movement in some of the structural components, but uh, it just doesn't happen um, in a Tesla and most vehicles with Giga casting with good design. So, but it, but if it did, we can take a look at some of the areas. So here's a sort of a heat map of a rear Giga casting on a Model Y. Um, the colors mean something. So, for example, we'll just start with the red. Um, traditionally, the red areas have meant, meant do not repair. Um, in the early stages of release of Giga casting, a long, long time ago, which is like two years ago, less, uh, we couldn't do any repairs in these red areas. Today, um, there is the potential to do some repairs in these areas, and so if we find damage in this re these red areas, uh, all we need to do is talk to Tesla Engineering and, uh, and then we'll go through a process from there to confirm whether we can or cannot repair that. But we'll see some, there's yellow areas, blue areas, green areas. 
Uh, I won't go into the breakdown of what you can and can't do in some in those areas, but for an ex uh, example, if a crack is less than uh, 50 millimeters long, you can weld it up in some of these areas. Uh, if it's uh, in some cases, depending on the zone, uh, you can weld a crack that's up to 30 millimeters, but you may have to put a backing plate behind it for support. So uh, as these develop, more and more repair options are becoming available. So um, the original thinking that giga castings damage mean total loss uh, is actually not real. Um, and we have certainly replaced entire giga castings, but we've also certainly repaired them as well. So um, as we progress with uh, giga casting and building these vehicles, we'll see more and more repair options, which obviously bring down the cost of repair. So that's it. We just wanted to give you a quick peek at a inspection process on a giga casting for a quarter panel replacement on a car that's hit pretty hard. Um, so more to come as usual. Thank you for watching the YouTube channel and leave comments below. We're glad to answer any questions you have in our monthly uh, podcast. Thanks again.